Hey everyone, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays. Today we continue our solo series with Colossus vs. Juggernaut. I'm very excited to see how Juggernaut plays as I've never played him before. And he has a wonderful little uh, mechanic where Hope Summers is the lost condition. But let's check it all out and see how it plays. Before I begin, just want to say thanks to Patreon, subscribers, and if you're neither just coming in, thank you and welcome as well. Let's go check out how this sets up. We've got Piotr Rasputin with 4 Recovery. Alter Ego Mutant Setup. Search the deck for a copy of Organic Steel and add it to your hand. Aspiring Artist Response. After you change to this form, shuffle a Colossus card from your discard pile into your deck. He has a 6, his hand size is 6, and his starting health is 14. When he becomes Colossus, his thwart is 1, his attack is 2, his defense is 2 as well. Colossus can have one additional toughness status card. Steel Skin Response. After you change to this form, give Colossus a tough status card. His hand size does drop to 4, which is going to be tough, but we'll see what we can do. We are facing off against the Unstoppable Juggernaut with 1 Scheme to Attack. Juggernaut gets plus 1 attack for each Momentum Counter here. When revealed, place 1 Momentum Counter here. Give Juggernaut a tough status card. He will start with 18 health. This is going to be a tough fight. The Unstoppable Juggernaut is the main scheme. So Juggernaut 1 and 2, because we're not stupid, um, because I'm a terrible player. Juggernaut, Hope, Su Hope Summers deck, and Standard Encounter sets, and the, we're going to add the Black Tom Cassidy. Setup. Attach Juggernaut's helmet to Juggernaut and put Hope Summers into play under the first player's control. When we flip this over, it's going to say 7 before it threats out so of the Unstoppable Juggernaut. But if you notice on this card, it does not say that there is a that we lose the game. Instead, it says, First interrupt, when this scheme would be completed, instead do each of the following. Remove all threat from here. Jug if Juggernaut exposed is in play, flip it. Place one momentum counter on Juggernaut, and then Juggernaut attacks each player in player order, even if they are in alter ego form. And then it keeps going and it keeps cycling, so he just keeps running over you. But we don't lose when this threat's out. Instead, we have Hope Summers. With a thwart and attack with a star on it and no cost, set up. The first player uh, controls Hope Summers. Hope Summers does not count against your ally limit. Hope Summers' base thwart and base attack are equal to the thwart and attack of your hero. And if Hope Summers leaves play, which means if she's defeated with her 3 health, the players lose the game. So this is our lost condition. We have to keep her alive. One final thing we need to look at here is Juggernaut's helmet. Juggernaut gains Stalwart, which means he cannot be stunned or confused. And his attacks gain Overkill. Hero action spend 3 resources of the same type to remove each momentum counter from Juggernaut and, and then flip this card. And if we flip this card, it's Juggernaut Exposed. So, attached to Juggernaut, Juggernaut takes one additional damage for each card with a printed chemical resource. Force Response. After Juggernaut schemes, place one momentum counter on, this ju on Juggernaut and then flip this card right back over to where he's in this. Now, he has Overkill. Remember, that means that any excess damage from a defeated ally will come to me. So, but And Stalwart, which means he can't be confused or stunned, but he doesn't have Piercing, which is good for me having... Uh, tough cards for Colossus. And we've got ourselves all set up. We've got Juggernaut with his tough status token and his one momentum counter. We've got one threat one threat on the main scheme. 18 health. His helmet's in play. We've got Hope and him there. And we will just do a quick no-nonsense shuffle of our deck to draw our starting six cards to see what's there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we will also shuffle this deck because if I forget that, that could be very bad news for our playthrough, right? You don't want to see the same card happening over and over and over again. So there we go. Let's take a look at this and see what's there. Our starting hand will possibly be Powerful Punch. Hero Interrupt, Attack Defense. When an enemy initiates attack, deal 4 damage to that enemy. Made of Rage. When you make a basic attack, discard a tough status card from your hero. You get plus 6 attack for that, and this attack gains Overkill. We got Piotr Studio, Alter Ego Action, Exhaust Piotr Studio, discard a card from your deck until you discard a Colossus card, add that card to your hand. We've got the X-Jet, Exhaust the X-Jet, generate a wild resource for a player whose identity has the X-Men trait. We've got Perseverance, after you change form, give your hero a tough status card. And then we've got Genius with that double symbol. 
We are going to mulligan the X-Jet and Piotr's studio to draw two more cards to see what we can get. When we draw those two cards, we get Nightcrawler interrupt when an X-Men character would take any amount of damage from an enemy attack, spend an energy resource, and return Nightcrawler to your hand, prevent all of that damage. And we have Steel Fist event. Uh, hero action attack, deal two deal five damage to an enemy. You may discar discard a tough status card from your hero, stun and confuse that enemy. The stage is set, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and take on Juggernaut. Okay, and we forgot about our setup here to search your deck for a copy of Organic Steel and add it to your hand. We've added Organic Steel to our hand, let's take a look at the card. Organic Steel uses two steel counters, hero response, after a tough status card is discarded from Colossus, exhaust this card and remove one steel counter from it to give Colossus a tough status card. Okay, we're ready to play, so we are not going to waste any time because we don't have anything to do with him, we're going to flip over to Colossus, which will immediately give us a tough status token. The next thing we're going to do is, I like this card, and people will probably say never get rid of it, but I've got sort of a plan, so I'm going to spend this resource to do Perseverance, which says after you change forms, give your hero another tough status token, and remember he can have two, so we'll just go ahead and use that card. We'll have Hope attack Juggernaut to get rid of this tough status card. Then, with the Juggernaut open to getting punched right in the face, we're going to do um, a Heroic Interrupt, so we're going to do a base attack of 2, discarding a tough status token to make this a plus 6, so that's 6, 7, 8, knocking Juggernaut's health down to 10 for that hit. Then, we are going to spend Genius to do Steel Fist, to punch Juggernaut for 5 more damage, taking him down to 5 health. Enjoy that, my good sir. That will end our turn. I'm going to hang on to this to knock him down to 1 health, but we will discard Nightcrawler to draw back up. So we'll ready back up. We still have 1 status, uh, tough status. We'll draw 3 cards because we can only have 4 in hand, so let's see what these 3 cards are. Our 3 cards are going to be a Strength. We have a Steel Fist for 5 more damage, and we have Powerful Punch. So when an enemy initiates an attack, deal 4 damage to that enemy. However, it is the enemy's turn, so they will scheme first to get 2 on here. Then he is going to attack. I'm going to take that attack, so let's go ahead and see how much that would be. It would be 2 with that counter is 3, plus 4, and give Juggernaut a tough status token. Awesome! So that would be four, knocking off my tough status, so it's okay, there's no piercing in there, but we will have to deal with whatever this card is. We get Breakthrough. When revealed, choose, take damage equal to Juggernaut's attack, discard the highest cost upgrade uh, or support you control. I don't have a controller support, so I have to take the first, and his attack is three because of uh, he gets the plus one to his attack because of the Rampage token. I said Rampage, I mean Momentum, I'm going to mess up terms, but I would take 3 damage going down to 11 health, and that's okay. So we went ahead in the first turn, we're ready to continue with our turn. I could have done an Interrupt to do 4 more damage, but yet that tough status token ruined my plans. Ruined! So let's see how this goes. Okay, so first we're going to have Hope attack him for to take the tough status token off again. And then we're going to use Strength to hit him for 5, knocking him down to 0. So that's his first phase knocked down for that 5 damage. He's going to go to his second phase. Let's see what that is. His second phase, 1 scheme, 3 attack this time. Juggernaut gets plus 1 attack for each momentum counter on him. When revealed, place 1 momentum counter here. If Juggernaut exposed in play, otherwise give Juggernaut a... So he gets another Toughness card. And his hit, his damage is now 4. Fantastic. Actually, it's five. Juggernaut's health now set to 21, uh, and he's got two momentum on here, so it's plus one for each momentum, which is a three, four, five, which is going to be really difficult. And we've got two cards left that probably won't help us much, but I do have something maybe I could do here, and he is supposed to get a toughness status card. I'm assuming he's going to get another toughness status card somehow, some way. <laughs> so, um, I believe what I'll do instead is, um, he can't stack tough status, only I can, so 
Instead, let's just thwart one and roll that back instead of getting rid of that toughness status card. We've got the two powerful punches yet left. I'm still going to hang on to them. We're going to ready ourselves up and draw two new cards to see what they are. Cool. Let's collect the whole set of powerful punches. And then we've got a protective training. So this will get some allies' health up, but our hand size is not looking so good. Okay, so the enemy's turn. You're going to scheme and get two on there. You're going to attack for five damage. And I believe that you could potentially kill me. However, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend these two. I won't have much of a turn um, to attack defense. And you initiated attack again. Oh, no, I can't because you don't have your stupid thing. It'll just knock off the toughness status. Instead, I'm going to guard against it. So it'd be five. I'm blocking for two. My goodness. Well, it's going to be five, six, and I block for two, which means it's going to be four damage. <laughs> four damage inbound, taking me to seven health. Yay. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. And then we're going to draw this card and see what it is. Awesome, it's the card I was hoping it would be. Captive Hope. All right, all right, I know the deal. Hope grumbles to her captor. This ain't my first time being captured, you know. Hope Summers cannot ready. When revealed, exhaust Hope Summers. Oh my gosh. And it, it, we, we increase the threat by one for each one on here. And there is three. Uh, there is going to be three threat on there to get rid of it. I enjoy an impossible game. It makes me happy. So this is where we sit. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, what can we do? We can start by having that three on there. And then we need to determine because we're just in the worst place ever. I think the only thing I could do this round is I'm going to spend one to get to raise Hope's health up by three. And then... Um, that is all I can really do. She's exhausted. I can't do. I can't deal with this. She can't ready while that's out. It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. So I'm actually going to discard everything uh, to get a new. And I am going to flip to that side. So that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and redraw our hand size of six. Uh, she can't ready, but I can. And one, two, three four, five, and six, and let's take a look at what these six cards are. Our six cards are going to be another protective training to give plus three health to an ally. We have mutant protectors, so here under up defense when an enemy attacks, put an X-Men ally in the play from your hand, exhaust it, declare it the defender for this attack. Bulletproof protector, give your hero two tough status cards, or ready your hero your choice. Professor X, force response after Professor X enter play, choose one, confuse the villain, stun a minion, or ready an X-Men character at the end of the round. If Professor X is still in play, discard him, and he has three thwart. That'd be good to get him down. Bait and switch, uh, the villain attacks, you remove four threat from the main scheme, and we've got Shadow and Steel, so if we can find Shadow Cat, we can use this card. That when an enemy attacks, prevent all damage from that attack and deal four damage to the attacking enemy. But we got to find Shadow Cat for that. So let's see how that goes. All right. So this is going to go to three. And then the villain's going to scheme because I'm in this form. The villain's going to scheme for one, two, deal one damage to an ally you control. Oh, no. <laughs> so. You're going to scheme for two going to five, which is not that great. And you've already taken your first damage, but you have six health, thank goodness. And then we're going to get dealt a card and see what this does. Awesome! Yeah, the villain schemes again. <sighs> this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. So the villain's going to scheme for one. Oh, four, which is more than enough to trigger this thing. So when this says, let's take a look at this to see what we're dealing with. So with four on there, it puts us to nine, which is bad. So it says, force interrupt. When this scheme would be completed, instead, do each of the following. Remove all threat from this. It's gone. If Juggernaut exposed is in play, uh, flip it. It is not. It's set to Juggernaut's helmet. Place one momentum counter on Juggernaut. So he was at a two. Now he's at a three, which means his attack is six. Good grief. Um, Juggernaut attacks each player in player order, even if they are in alter ego mode. So he's attacking me for six. Six. Isn't that fantastic? 
So this would pretty much be game over for me unless I play Mutant Protectors to Hero Interrupt Defense. When an enemy attacks, put an X-Men ally into play from your hand. Exhaust it and declare... So when an enemy attacks, put an X-Men ally into play from your hand. Boom. Exhaust it and declare it the defender for this attack. So it's Professor X coming in to take three of the, to take, it's six right now, eight damage inbound. So he will take three of that, and remember he has overkill, so three of that's going to hit me. If three hits him, he will die, and then I will have to take five, knocking me down to two health. Ooh, woof, and I have to pay for this, don't I? I have to pay for this card, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I'll pay for it with Shadow and Steel. So there we go. I survived. That was awful, and I'm down to this. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I tell you what we're going to do. We are going to recover four, going back to six health, which won't matter. We will then flip, and as soon as we flip, we get a toughness status card. Whew. We are going to spend Bulletproof Protector to ready our hero with this. Oh, man, I don't need him attacking me right now. Um, and then we are just going to attack him to get rid of this toughness status card. And that's that's what that's what we got. That's all we got. That's all we got to it. So we're gonna ready up Colossus with his one toughness status. We're going to discard protective training, and we have bait and switch, which I think I'll ditch that too. I don't feel like getting attacked with my six health, and he just outright kills me. So that is gonna be the end of that. Let's go ahead and draw our four cards: one, two, three, and four, and see what these four cards are. We have protective training again. Another bait and switch, because they're trying to tell me something. We've got energy, which gives us two. And then we have uh, iron will. After a tough status card is discarded from Colossus, draw one card. Okay, we're going to add one to the main scheme. He is then going to attack Colossus for six, seven, and you are stunned. Fantastic, I enjoy being stunned. But the toughness comes off and I won't die. So that's not so bad. Oh my gosh, and then I'll have to deal with this. Might be the game ender. It is the game ender. Assault. When revealed, if I'm in hero form, which I am, the villain attacks you. Perfect. Even better. Just what I was looking for. So the villain's going to attack me while I have to defend. So it's six coming in. Seven, eight. Eight minus two is six. Boom, boom, boom. He goes down. And that is zero. So... He is tough. I think uh, one of the things that really threw me was I didn't deal with this early. On a, on a solo mode, uh, you've, you have pretty much a limited set of cards where in multiplayer, one person can take that hit to flip this while the other person pretty much beats him up. So if I was able to flip this, that might have made things a little bit easier for me to attack him. However, that's not the case, um, and it didn't work out that way as my first time playing him through, but Man, he can really pile up on you and beat the brakes off you. That's tough. That is just tough. This should have this should have actually pushed it up one more from one to two. So I, I see that. Um, and it would have pushed it over anyway for when he schemed. So it would have been horrible. Instead of nine, it would have been ten. But yeah, that's going to be it. So that's the end of this playthrough. Uh, Juggernaut's tough. Let me know how, if you've used any pre-con decks, because that's what I'm using, but if you've beaten Juggernaut with any pre-con decks and what that was. Until then, I love you. There's absolutely nothing you could do about it.